I remember many, many nights laying in bed trying to fall asleep and just my mind going around and around. Am I ever going to have a partner? Am I ever going to get married? Am I ever going to have someone ask me on a date for crying out loud? Um, you know, as years after college continued, and there was this image that I, that I had of, of a ball falling, but it would never hit the bottom. It would never land. And the ball just kept falling and falling and falling. And you have this experience and you feel like, well, the ball's got to land sometime. Like it's got to find a foundation. It's got to find an end. But as I continued to never be asked out, that it was the sense that the ball kept falling and it never hit. Um, and it was really painful. And so as I was in this very, you know, perseverating, anxious, um, over-focused place on my pain, um, people I felt like would withdraw from me in that pain or judge me in that pain. Um, I think people felt like I was overreacting to the pain. I was too much. There was nothing they could say to offer consolation to me. And um, so I think they had a sense of withdrawing, pulling away. Um, she, you know, she's in a difficult place and I can't come towards her in that or judging me and thinking like, oh, she's just too extreme or she's too negative. Um, and that left me alone again, feeling unworthy, unvalued as people responded to me, um, in my pain in that way. So that's how I think about my pain cycle. As I think about the peace cycle, um, it was really helpful for me to recognize that, um, God does have power and control over this situation. Um, even as I have some power and control in wanting to find a partner, wanting to get married, um, again, to recognize that God has ultimate power and control, and I do have power and control in this to an extent that there are some ways that I can grow and put myself out there that may contribute to dating and ultimately finding a partner. You know, as I sit here today, married and I can look back on this experience of being single and not wanting to be for over 10 years after college and I now have this framework, this language, this understanding of the pain and the peace cycle, I can clearly see that I was living in my pain cycle and um, if I would have had the language at the time, I could have much better held on to the truth that God is powerful and I do have some power to impact my wanting to get married, you know, not full or complete power, but some power. And um, I could have recognized that it's just, it is certain that my situation is uncertain. And somehow I think that would have helped that truth, that certain, the uncertain situation of singleness was certain and that wasn't gonna change. Um, and that God had power if I would have been able to hold on to those truths, I think it would have put me in a more hopeful, accepting state of where my life was. And then in that more hopeful, better state, uh, I think others would have been able to draw, draw towards me in my pain to offer greater comfort um, to me. And that would have been really helpful. Mm -hmm.